On the first day of May 1985, a warm body strand of personnel organic to Headquarters 52nd Engineer Brigade Philippine Army was called upon to organize the historic task group Montayo, purposely to undertake an infantry brigade base to quarter the needs of the Army in Davao del Norte. The exigency of the scene, which required a stronger and steady unit pave, the battalion's existence, pursuant to General Orders No. 100 Headquarters Philippine Army, dated 24 May 1985, that took effect nine days earlier on 16 May 1986. Laurel, symbol of victory and honor. Green, symbolizes nature, environment, healthy, good luck, renewal, youth, vigor, spring, generosity, fertility. Castle, symbol of Corps of Engineers. Brown, symbolizes earth, heart, home, outdoor, reliability, comfort, and endurance. Gear, symbolizes the inner works of a machine, where the engineer equipment is one of the unit assets used to accomplish the unit's mission. Gold, symbolizes feeling of prestige, illumination, wisdom, wealth, and high quality. Dark red, symbolizes vigor, well-power, leadership, and courage. Aguila represents the first geographical location in Moncayo, Davao del Norte, where the unit historically organized and deployed. Yellow symbolizes joy, happiness, optimism, idealism, imagination, hope, sunshine, summer gold, philosophy. Unit, the number designated to the unit when it was created. Black symbolizes the power, sophistication, formality, elegance, wealth, mystery, fear, anonymity. And that is the logo that represents the 547 Engineer Aguila Battalion, 54th Engineer Brigade, Philippine Army. On the 25th day of May 1986, the men behind the youthful 547th Engineer Construction Battalion changed station to San Gabriel Davao City, which they constructed the pilot road from Lake Cebu, Maitum, and rehabilitated the Tuklan Terminal San Gabriel Access Road. On the year 1992, the unit developed the 8km access road and constructed one unit bunkhouse from the Mount Pinatubo victims who were relocated at Talakag Bukidnon. On 16 October 1992, 55th Engineer Brigade Philippine Army came to existence adopting 547 Engineer Construction Battalion and was tasked to scale Davao City and provinces of Northern, Southern, and Davao Oriental, Northern and Southern Cotabato and Maguindanao. On 11 May 1993 to 12 January 1994, the unit accomplished the concreting of Mabuhay Pakipato Road Phase 1 and initiated the construction of Carmen to Kibayo 8 km Road on 13 January 1994 to 16 June 1995. The unit augmented one company and constructed Parang Malabang Road in 1996, completed the Coastal Padada Relocation Project in Davao del Sur in 1995, and constructed abscess building at San Gabriel Davao City. In 1996, the rehabilitation of Buenavista Colungul Road, 18.3 meter Bailey Bridge, concreting of 602nd Infantry Brigade road nets, initiating the construction of the MNLF training facilities and parade ground level. Immediately after the liberation of Narciso Ramos Highway, the unit moved from San Gabriel Davao City to Barangay Bayanga Mantanog and Maguindanao. After completing the rehabilitation works, the unit was ordered to move to General Santos City and undertook the construction of Awang Upi Lebak Kalamansig Palimbang Road opening. On 23 September 2001, the unit moved to Alabel Sarangani Province. On 10 July 2003, the unit was transferred to Barangay Bawing General Santa City and established its battalion headquarters on 13 December 2004. The advance party occupied the Kuta Dao Pagadian City in the compliance to the order from higher headquarters to rationalize the combat support of engineer units to infantry division of the Philippine Army. On 16 March 2013 to 27 June 2013, the turning over of one unit 10 door apartment building at Gutadao Pagadian City. After the deactivation of 55th Engineer Brigade on 01 July 2013, 
547th Engineer Construction Aguila Battalion, it was absorbed by the 52nd Engineer Brigade Philippine Army. On 15 December 2016, the battalion became organic to the newly activated 54th Engineer Brigade Philippine Army. The unit continues to provide technical and manpower assistance to the military units and SEMO projects in the area of its operations. On 23 May 2017, the Daula Islamiya Filanao, popularly known as the Mauti Group, led by Umar Mauti and Ismilan Hapilon, conducted terror attack in Marawi City. The battalion was the first Army engine responder to address the needs of other maneuvering units in the area. In order to maintain the operational tempo of ground operating troops, the battalion provided engineer and combat support operations to 103rd Infantry Brigade Philippine Army. Thus, this unit was able to transform one unit dozer from ordinary construction equipment to become blast-protected clearing machine to principally protect the operator from possible IEDs and direct fires while doing clearing operations. The said equipment was proven worth even if not fully armored and got his name Optimus Prime by the operating units in the main battle area. The city suffered an enormous damage and resulted to the immense displacement of the thousand residents. The Tarlac Heritage Foundation incorporated a charitable organization based in Tarlac Province in partnership with the Chinese Filipino Business Club Incorporated, supported the government in helping to provide temporary shelter to the displaced families and communities. The unit was tasked to implement the construction of Bahay Pag-asa. The project was for the immediate shelter and accommodation to the families affected by the armed conflict in Marawi City. On the first quarter of 2018, another Bahay Pag-asa project, Phase 2, was implemented in Barangay Mipaga, Marawi City. Once again, the unit was tasked as the main effort in the construction of the said project. On September 2018, the completion of the construction of Known Distance Range Project and the construction of Ancillary Building at Camp Sangan, Pulakan, Labangan, Sambonga del Sur, the battalion also completed various repair and construction of camp facilities to other Philippine Army units in the area of operations, like the constructions of halfway house intended for the former rebel returnees under ECLIP program at Headquarters 10 Infantry Battalion, 1st Infantry Division, Philippine Army, Barangay Burgos, Oroqueta City, and at 53rd Infantry Battalion, 1st Infantry Division, Philippine Army, Gipos, Sambuanga del Sur. The battalion also undertakes the road opening projects in the municipalities of Bayog, Kumalarang, Malinao, Midsalip, all in province of Zamboanga del Sur, and the road opening projects in the municipalities of Clarín, and Tadela both in province of Misamis Occidental. The battalion completed the construction of two units covered court in Barangay Bernad and Barangay Bituon and the phase one of covered court at Barangay Dalingap and the construction of Barangay Hall in Barangay Pinasio all in municipality of Clarín, Misamis Occidental. After the onslaught of Typhoon Vinta in 2017, the battalion working in tandem with Jimmy Capuso Foundation Incorporated and constructed one unit two classroom Jimmy Capuso type school building and the construction of 40 meters footbridge both in Barangay Pansur, Salvador, Lanao del Norte. 
On the year 2020, the pandemic disease COVID-19 strikes in the whole nation. The battalion extended assistance to Provincial Disaster Risk Reduction Management Center to mitigate the spread of coronavirus by providing manpower support for the construction of holding area in the boundaries of adjacent provinces in the municipalities of Tukuran, Kumalarang, Aurora, Tambulig, Anosefina, all in the province of Zamboanga del Sur. On 03 February 2021, the unit completed the construction of two base development projects at 1st Infantry Division, Philippine Army, Camp San An, Pulacan, Labangan, Sambonga del Sur, like the repair, renovation of Kuta Cesar San An Station Hospital and the repair and improvements of various camp facilities of 1st Infantry Division and to other maneuver units. In support to the Provincial Task Force, Municipal Task Force, and Local Communist Armed Conflict, the battalion completed the road opening, graveling projects at Barangay Bernad and Barangay Penasio, including the construction of multi-purpose building, all in the municipality of Clarin, Misamis, Occidental. The battalion also completed the road rehabilitation projects in the municipality of Gipos, road opening projects in Barangay Sigakad, Municipality of Bayug and the road opening projects in Barangay Tubo Pait, Barangay Kamalig and the renovation of mosque in Barangay Mama, Municipality of Dumalinaw, all in the province of Zamboanga del Sur. The unit also implemented the concreting improvements of road in support to camp development of Kuta Dao through the initiative of 9RCDG RSCOM. Likewise, the unit continues providing manpower and equipment support to other projects programmed by local government units in the area of operations.